Hi, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I was gonna record some Zelda right now, but I'm feeling unusually, like, calm, relaxed, so I decided instead I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing, which I have not played in, like, several months, if I'm honest. I think the last time I recorded it, it was probably either like a tour of my town or might have been on my laptop. I used to record off my laptop, but OBS doesn't work on it, so I would record those like five minutes at a time recording softwares where it wouldn't let me talk and I don't know. I Animal Crossing is kind of like the main of like cozy games that I have. I kind of wanted to just... Hmm, I'm still gonna play Zelda, but I feel like I need to play something kind of like calm to kind of match the vibe that I'm in right now, so That's what we're gonna do. I wish I could like play and kind of whisper into this or Kind of be more relaxed into this microphone. I mean I could I can see what's on the TV on OBS if I'm like facing the mic, but then I can't see the TV so and it's like what's the point? of having TV on. Then I can't really sit comfortably. I wish I had like one of those TV dinner tables that I could put the mic on and then sit with while I'm playing. Unless, hold on, what if I just grab the mic and put it on my lap maybe? I'm gonna see. That might, oh, that made the mic a little bit too. Maybe that could work. I don't know how well you can hear me. I'm just, I'm sitting like with my knees up and I have the mic kind of between my legs right in front of me. So, I don't know. I hope I don't sound too loud. I'm like trying to talk actually softer with my voice um, on purpose to try and make this kind of relaxed. And I'll even put the controller a little bit away from me so the button noises aren't that loud. Oh, good, good. That's actually today's date. I wasn't even sure when I was gonna post this. Um, yeah, it's Friday the 17th. I actually start my summer internship class in a few days, so this is kind of the last of my days without responsibility, really. And Paper Mario is going to be coming out soon, which I'm very excited for. I already pre-ordered and everything. I even bought a copy for my brother. I always feel a little bad ditching my town. But I'm really glad with New Horizons that um, they make it so villagers can't move away while you're gone. I hope I clicked the right profile too. I made two houses. One of them is like beach themed because my island, Aquamarine, is um, mermaid themed. This is my house. Oh, okay. Last time I played was New Year's, so it's been a while. It's been five months. I really like this outfit. Not the hat, but the little bow tie, little cinnamon roll jacket, and the tweed pants, and the sneakers. I would honestly wear um, an outfit like this without the big shiny hat, of course, um, in real life. That's kind of more my style. I don't really dress girly anyway, I'm just very comfortable, a bit lazy. I'm usually wearing like a t-shirt, shorts. Sometimes though, I'll like today it's kind of cloudy. I feel like being a little cozy. Well, today's almost over, but... <sighs> I changed back into my sweats for this. Oh yeah, this is my house. I wanted like a little cottage core cabin. I haven't edited anything in my house in like a while, but one of my favorite things is this. I love this vine chair that I added the butterflies in the DLC. Oh, I wanted to change my character's outfit. Why is Axel here? I tried to put all the cozy paintings, a lot of the like mom furniture. I love those little gyroids, the little pink one. That looks kind of scared is my favorite. And the little one with the clown nose next to it. Yeah, you can tell I have not played in a while since he's got the um the Santa hat. Oh gosh, Jesus. That was actually meant for Cheddar the Mouse. Why is he wearing that shirt? I don't like that 
that shirt. It's not good. Oh, oh, a pear. I believe my native fruit is apples, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'll post this today, which means you're gonna have like five videos from me today. That's all right. Oh, it's from Peanut. Oh yeah, it's a bottle note because I don't have Peanut the squirrel. I really like this um, like letter uh, stationery. That's the word. That looks so cute with the teacup and the clock. Biscuits. Mm -hmm. That does not feel like. A stationary, a peppy villager like Peanut would use, though, that's for sure. Feels like something a normal villager would use. I wish you could do stuff like that with villagers, like invite them over for little tea parties. I mean, they come over, but look at Axel. He's just, like, wandering around my house. He's just sitting there, reading... What are you reading? Let's find out. I also don't really remember... Oh. Any of the buttons with this. Um... Hmm, what did we get? Oh, it's kind of cool. I don't know why, it's reminding me of one of those Peter Pan movies. I think Pan, maybe. That's interesting, I didn't know there was an outfit. That could be cool to put in like a basement or something. And I have a lot of the vine stuff. You could really make like a jungle house or something with all this stuff. I could see that, like a like a witch that lives in the jungle. That would be pretty cool, honestly. God, I have so much stuff. I used to make all those videos with the DLC. You bet my house is comfy. That's the goal. Thanks for coming. Yeah. The catchphrases. I make catchphrases for certain villagers and then it spreads like wildfire, I swear. Mm. The candles should probably not be there. Kind of looks like a safety hazard. I'm just checking it out. I don't remember what I have. Oh, that's... Why don't I have Cheddar's photo up there? I like the little dog, though. Okay, how do I get to my inventory? Yes, I want a new outfit. I mean, it is summer, but I'm feeling cozy today, so... In an every single Animal Crossing game, buy a lot of clothes. <laughs> the meme shirt's kind of funny. I actually have a sweater like this one, um, the flower sweater. Not the colors, but or the flowers really, but it reminds me of a sweater um, my grandmother used to wear that I ended up getting from her. So that sounds cozy, but what am I wearing? I wonder if I could match my outfit. That would be funny, make like a little me. I need more of like a sweatshirt though. That could work. No, not those. I feel like hand-knit sweaters would be kind of uncomfortable. That's like a Paddington coat. Mm. This is kind of close. I sort of have something vaguely like this of a blue sweater with snowflakes on it, but it's more of a light blue. Let's get some pants. These are exactly like a pair of shorts that I have that I was wearing today. I'm not even kidding. Oh, the microphone's falling a little bit. Uh -oh. Okay, hopefully that's good. It's kind of on my lap now. Bell bottoms. Those are like comfortable pants. No, those are like banjo ones. More athletic pants. I really hate these western pants. They look so weird to me. I guess I didn't buy a lot of pants for my character. Hmm. Quite a lot of little accessories though. I am wearing a clip. My bangs have gotten too long, so I have to keep pinning them all the time. Just want to look through. What's the vibes? What's the vibes? No, we need some like soft, comfy pants for this villager. These will not do. Unless I make it so she doesn't wear pants, that could work. Hmm. Those kind of look vaguely comfortable. Maybe... yeah. No, wait. Oh, these are perfect. Reminds me of an elephant shirt I have. So... What? I'm transformed? Oh, right, right.
Wait, what? This one. Really? Oh yeah, that's like the winter outfit. That's like the kid core winter outfit though, it's not winter. Just need something vaguely comfortable for this villager. Hmm. Oh, that's the same pants. Perfect. See, that looks cozy. Oh, nope. I didn't remember how to put the star away. Where's my... Nope. Let me use a vanity. I like the purple hair. I kind of wanted purple hair. I had purple hair in real life for a while, but... Oh, I forgot about these. I forgot that you can just be a smurf in this game. I like that those are like... Mm, more there. Yeah, I like these eyes. They feel kind of friendly. Where's a lot of haircuts in this game? <laughs> Where's not this messy? Or it could just be bald. I don't know. Mm. Bit longer. It's kind of like that now, actually, now that I think about it. I wanted my hair kind of like this, of looking a bit like messy almost, but my hair is super straight, so it kind of comes out like this now that I think about it. That's the closest I can get. But I am happy that I've cut my hair. It feels nice. Alright, let's go. I swear, I feel like I have to change my outfit every time I play this game because I don't play for so many months that the weather gets cheaper. Wearing shoes. I'm not wearing shoes. Why do the barefoot villagers look so weird? Are these really bare feet? It's not, you know, walk around barefoot. Mm -hmm. There's nothing dangerous in this town. Gosh, there's so many of these letters. I'm not going to read any of them. They made a whole little forest section. Yeah. I wrote a whole, like, Google Docs murder mystery based on the design of my town, and then I never finished it. And then I made this section sort of based off of a different story I wrote for an English class about a gnome village that was in the forest, but they didn't have, like, houses and cars. Or some- no, it wasn't a gnome village, it was just gnomes that lived in the woods, and in the woods was a, f a statue with angel wings and I was gonna come up with some kind of significant lore and then I didn't. And then this is supposed to be um, for like the Sanrio sheep and the um, I wanted that squirrel from the the newest squirrel with like the star theme and I wanted them here as like a um I don't know like a little star watching hill on top of the forest and everything but I couldn't find her I think I have the sheep I still have my Sanrio cards I got them from my friend <clears throat> that's all right Mm -hmm. Yeah, this feels really calming. I need to play this more often. Oh, it's Elvis. Kind of don't want him every mo anymore. I like to switch out my villagers all the time because I feel like having the same ones gets boring. Except for my favorites, of course. Nice. Then I thought, he's okay for grumpies. Like, I kind of... I'm okay with the grumpies, it just depends, I'm picky about them, but I thought, yeah, he could move in. I like to just, this is one of those games I feel like I can just wander around my town and, is that a pug? No. 
I like my little orchard though, it feels nice. I feel like I'm hearing a weird noise from this game. Mm -hmm. so there's the like pirate mermaid stuff. And those are bugs. Why are they just circling around the star? That's kind of funny actually. They're just circling around it. Going round and round and round and round and round. It's like they're, I don't know, worshipping. It's interesting to think about, like cockroaches. Oh, my bad. Roaches. Wharf roaches. Worshipping like a star. I don't know. It's interesting to think about. And all the pirate stuff. The seashells. There we go. Gotta get the dailies. Oh? Did he move? Is it Marty or Stitches? Ellie. Oh, this is Stitches house. Right, right. Stitches and Marty were neighbors. Forgot that I left, let Marty move. Ellie, if I remember correctly, I think was a brown elephant with pie eyes. Normal villager. That's alright. She can live there. That would fit. But I love this little setup because they were both little lazy bears, so I made them like a little cozy spot right by the orchard. And then the little Sanrio cafe that I'm still proud of. And there's my casino. <laughs> that's not my tile floor. I don't remember where that's from. Who that's from anyway. My casino floor, which is a front for the science lab of researchers investigating the forest. It's all, it's all connected. Except for this drummer. I don't, I don't remember why I set that up. I think it was like a live band. And this was the mermaid section. That's right. Just the entire reason I made a mermaid house. Yeah, that would be a nice to upgrade. But it's like a whole mermaid castle. And then you go this way and you have the, the Italian restaurant that took me so long. It's like the only thing that's terraformed on this island with the water and everything. I loved making this, gosh. It's like my proudest achievement in this game. And then you would be able to come down here, but then I didn't do that. But that's like the idea, basically. I feel bad putting that flower there, like it's gonna get squished and die potentially. That's alright. And then you go this way, and there's the gazebo thingy, and the one mermaid um, music box and fountain that I have that I got from people. I um, very much wish that I had these as recipes. I would love to build more of these little fountains. That fountain is beautiful, especially with the pearlescent um, design. Same with the music box, but I have not found those recipes yet. Orange dress. Yeah, that's a bummer. I don't know anyone that has those recipes either. And then the museum and chatter apparently. Forgot he calls me Muffin. He's one of my favorites. I'm never going to let him leave. I like their little stories of what they did while I was gone. I know it's not real, but it's kind of nice. Oh, Sasha. Sasha's the rabbit. Ellie. Ellie hasn't even moved in. How do they celebrate her birthday if she hasn't moved in? Is she even on the- nope. Nope. On the villager list? She's not even on the villager list. Wow. Which one's Santa Zalia? I was hoping he'd sell hibiscus. I like those. 
Let's see. Wheat. Oh, those are azaleas. Those eggs. Okay. My doge flag that I did. Oh man, I forgot about that. I still think it's pretty good for, like, hand drawing that. And then this is kind of just the only, like, whatever part of the island. I, I have no idea what I want to put here because this used to be where my house was for the longest time. Now it's just kind of whatever, really. I don't know. Maybe eventually I'll think of something. And then the villagers, I tried to design like a little neighborhood. They all have places to sit and eat and signs because I forget where everyone lives. Even though no one leaves this town. The train station, the... Man, I'm just giving you a tour at this point. It's okay. Seaside bed and breakfast. It had a name. I don't remember. Oh, second music box. I know I don't have the recipe for that. And then... The restaurant. I love that mannequin. I wish I could have more. She looks so cool. More mermaid stuff. Lots of mermaid star things on the beaches. That was kind of like the vibe, really. And then, um, it was just like ocean stuff, pirate stuff. Megan. What's up, Megan? I like her. Her eyes kind of remind me of banjo a little bit. Nah, I just went to school, Megan. Sorry about that. Yeah, that was Rosie's. I like how they all um, read books based on their personalities. Like, Axel is probably reading the fitness magazine, and then Megan's reading about flowers, which actually look like the game Flowers, and she's looking at flowers. Nice. Is no one home? They all they can't all be asleep. Well he's out, I know that. So they all just go out at evening at seven PM and playing for like half an hour basically. Gumi's carrot farm. I did not design that. What have I designed, actually? That's a great question. Let's see. Nope. Nope. These aren't- none of these are mine. That's like a portal thing. These are all just codes I took from people. That's basically like my phone wall- oh wait, no, no, it's not. Um... Nope. 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 Wait. Maybe. No. Yes, yes, that's definitely mine. Yep. No. No. Mm, I don't remember. Yes, that's me. I'm still surprised how good those letters turned out, by the way. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, no. No, 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 no. Okay, that's it. I still have space. But I thought it would be cute if they had, like, a little little garden, you know? It's nice. Little community garden. They're just, they're like a community on this entire, like, half of the islands, basically. The river kind of just divides everything. I keep wanting to press minus for the map, and I remember that's for, that's a Zelda thing. That's not an Animal Crossing thing. Wait, what the heck? She was just outside. She's in her house? What does her house look like? I know I redecorated all of the, um, the villager houses for the DLC. I think I did. That was honestly part of the reason I bought it. Yeah. This is my designed house. I keep the same things. I give them a cute little bed. I give them a place to eat. I give them a little place to sit. Mm -hmm. I like this. I feel like it fits her. It's cozy. It's cute. She's got her little reading chair. I associate her with sweets, so she has all the little cookies, honey thingy, yes. I don't really get that, but okay. Did she just call my outfit simple? 
and then say it was okay? I don't know. It's alright. Oh. This is... This doesn't have a sign. Oh. This is the one with the same name as me, I believe. Oh, she's sleeping. This is my one snooty villager. I only picked because of the name thing, otherwise I wouldn't have picked her. I think I picked her, I don't remember. Maybe not. Vesta's one of my favorites though, she's never able to leave. I just really like the sheep villagers. They seem so comfy and I feel like they have the most designs I like. This is definitely my design, though it's a little crowded. I just really wanted her to have some books in there, right by the chair. Should probably redesign it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, but she's got her books. That snow wallpaper, I feel like, fits. Where's the music coming from? Oh, I love those flower gramophones. They're so nice. It's cozy. She makes me feel like winter. Not all the shapes, just her. I like this flower thing, it's nice. This is like a little... I tried in my brain to think about um, the city, like from City Folk, because City Folk was like my Animal Crossing game. Gosh, I spent hours. My town looks like crap because all the grass is gone, but I'd still love if I could show it sometime. Probably doesn't even have any of the same villagers. What's this table? This table looks interesting. It's kind of a weird shape. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course it's an artsy table. Now that I think about it, it's kind of shaped like a palette, like a bean. I just looked at it and I saw the weird feet and the weird shape and I'm like, this feels about right. And of course, it's literally called something artsy by the game. I don't know. It looks like a bunch of feet, like a creature. It's like, um, with Mother 3, there's a table with legs you ride on. Kind of reminds me of that. Mm, I think that's about it. This is pretty normal. Though what always does bother me is that there's that upstairs area that's blocked and I kept thinking for the longest time that it was going to be like, you know how in these games with like the Nook store, there is always a second floor and the fact that that's the final one is just one floor and it barely has anything. It has like three furniture items, a plant thing, like f two more items and that's it. It's like so pathetic. Like I get it's an island, you can't have nooking tins, but that's still just so, it feels so strange to me. I don't know. It like bothers me. Like I wouldn't want a nooking tins, but I want the amount of items. I might just be greedy. Hmm, those are nice shoes. Oh, that is a nice outfit. Feels very like 1920s, 1930s. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, those are not my designs. I forgot about all the Doctor Who outfits that I downloaded from other people. <laughs> from the QR code thing. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. And the basement. Oh, I feel like I need to go look over my house. Decide if I want to change things. This guy, Meg's style is very cozy. Oh, got a maid outfit. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy that. I could put somebody in it. Hmm. How do you think the villagers feel about stuff like this? Of like the bear ears, for example? Of like... Like there's villagers that probably look like that. Those are like mouse ears, except I can't remember purple mice in this game. But... The fact that it's like you're a human person and then you put that on your head and wear it around 
do the villagers maybe think like you're making fun of them like do they get offended like the mice villagers or something or do they see it as like oops i dropped my controller okay i don't know oh sorry i just bonked it against the microphone i'm not used to holding it in my lap i really like this peach pie design that's cute this is my first area designed the island still my fate wait no wait yeah because there's the cafe connected to the museum yeah I, it took so long to get those books but i love this one it's so cozy just like a little library to study actually a library would be nice in this series i don't know what would happen to it but it's like um i don't know you, I could see that being like a floor on the museum in like future installments or whatever. Mm. I'm gonna pick some of these pumpkins. I didn't really do much in here, but it's okay. I just kind of felt like playing. Oh, my Alice in Wonderland area. Yeah, I had a virtual birthday party here one year and then I didn't want to get rid of it because I put all those chairs out, so I turned it into a little Alice in Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland, honestly. Like, I'm considering getting that as part of a potential tattoo idea. This rocks look kind of sus to me. I couldn't remember it, so there we go. I mean, that doesn't mean it's fake. It just means, um... That it's there. Alrighty. Yeah. I think I'll see if I can make any recipes with this. That's about it. We pretty much circle everywhere. And despite the game saying that everyone is outside, I have not run into like half the town. We maybe talked to like three villagers and one of them I visited on purpose. So there you go. Okay. I want to look inside my house, do a little cooking, and then I will stop and get started on some Zelda, which put me a little bit behind, but that's alright. What do we got? Hmm. Tomato thing. Mushroom crepe. I always thought crepes had to be sweet. I didn't think... Hmm. I don't really like carrot soup, so that's a no. I'm thinking about these in terms of like what I would eat in real life, so I'm gonna look through these. A veggie sandwich, yes. Yeah, fruit salad sounds good. Mushroom salad, mm hmm. Maybe not with raw mushrooms like that though. I don't actually like seaweed. I keep trying it and I don't like it. Bamboo shoot soup, but you've got a shot. Tomato bagel sandwich, yeah. What else is in there, though? It's just tomato and lettuce. It's a little boring. I feel like I need something else with it. Pumpkin bagel. What? What is with the pumpkin, though? I'm like, mm, maybe. Yeah, I'd give that a shot. That looks pretty good, actually. I don't know what this is. I didn't even know you can make food with turnips in this game. Squid ink spaghetti. I've never tried it. Actually, I might have. I don't remember if I have. Or what it tasted like. I know I have a friend who did. Mostly because of Jojo though. I don't know what this is. But it looks good. Same with. Actually no. I don't know. I love bread. So yes. I like that it's specifically organic bread. Is this a fish thing? I thought those were sardines at first. I like fish. So you have tomato curry. Mushroom curry. Squid ink curry. Fruit pizza. Mmm. If it was treated as like a sweet dessert rather than like a pizza pizza, then yeah, that sounds good. Scallops. I have no idea what most of these things are, but I like scallops. I don't know, probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, this is like the pie from Kiki's Delivery Service. This game makes me not want sea bass near me, but it's probably good. I think those are olives on top. Um... Yeah. Wow, the texture on that fish, though. Wait, you need a clump of weeds for that? That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. 
that it's like they really said, yeah, we're going to take the two things you see the most common and we're going to make a food dish out of it and it's not going to look disgusting. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. There's so much fish. Probably. Probably. I mean, it's a puree. Yeah. I don't know. Mm, but yeah, I like mushrooms. Oh, definitely. I would love to try orange marmalade. Pear jam. That's like such an Animal Crossing cozy thing of like, you can make cute little jam. Sardines and oil. I actually love sardines. I had some for lunch today. That cookie looks a bit dry, but maybe it would taste good. I don't know how far I can get with the cookie with just flour and sugar. Wait, no. Pretzels. I love pretzels. Those cupcakes look good. Those also look good, especially the cherry one. Mmm, no. Maybe. Kind of picky with jelly. Ooh, the tart looks good. Might be too tart for me, though. Mmm, maybe... I feel like I prefer maybe cherry over peach. Apple tart sounds like it'd be good with ice cream. I am not a fan of carrot cake. That sounds good, especially with that cream. I love pound cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, orange pound cake sounds wonderful. I like orange flavored desserts. Mmm, pancakes. I like that they have the detail of the smoke you can barely see. That's a nice touch. Not sure about that big thing of butter though. Fruit top pancakes sound good. Those kind of look like those Japanese pancakes, though. I don't know, like fluffier, softer, but still probably good. Mmm, the pies. I'd eat all the pies. Look at that, that looks beautiful. My favorite pie is pumpkin, but that pear one looks pretty good. But cherries just, mmm, they make it look so good. Mixed fruits, got that nice toasting on there. The smoothies. I love those little jars. They look like little mason jars. And then the little detail of like the fruit around the straw. That's so cute. Apple smoothie. Oh, I love clam chowder. Mmm, pumpkin pie. What are those things on top though? I keep wondering about that. Eh. Mmm. And then it's ingredients. Okay. But accidentally turned to being, um, about me ranking food, even though I'm not hungry, but I don't know. This is kind of like a, just a chill, whatever's on my brain experience right now. I like that you have the option of like flour and sugar and then like the healthier versions. Let's see, what else can we make? Anything? Anything? We can make some bread. Bread sounds nice. That looks so cute. I would love that you can display food too. I'm gonna have to put that bread somewhere nice. Ooh, orange marmalade. Mm-hmm. Ever since reading Paddington as a child, I've always wanted to try marmalade. Like a marmalade sandwich. Got the jellies. Got the... Mm. This is interesting, there's no like meat technically. Any kind of meat is basically just fish. Everything that you cook is basically like fruits or vegetables or no meats or fish or jam or whatever and they all make it look so good. It's kind of like with anime food. I, I don't get it. <laughs> What's in here? I want to just investigate my house and then I'll stop for today. This was kind of like a checkup on the town. Oh, this room's always been kind of whatever, but it's like, you know, the fancy, I'm kind of bragging, stereotypical rich person, but I'm not rich in this game room. Got that nice touch of the, the tea set there. I always love those lilies, they're nice. Just wanted to, I was gonna turn this into like a pirate themed, like rich room, part of a story thing, but. I never got around to it. That's all right. Because there's some rooms, like the main room, that are like specifically designed. That's why I can never take anything down. It took me so long to get this room the way I wanted it. It's like the only room I fully, fully, fully customized. And this one's just whatever. This was going to be like a hypothetical painting room. So you got the nice scenery, you got the little chair to paint at. This isn't The Sims, so I don't need to make something like that. 
Then we got, um, this is making me too tired. This is actually the opposite of what I wanted. I was going to play a possibly stressful Zelda game after this, like right after. This is my only day to really record that. This is like the toy room of basically I wanted all the the gifts from Christmas season somewhere and I need, you know, a room for the froggy chair after all and all my villager posters. So it turned into like a little, um, like a kid core, I guess. Those mushrooms are just there for decoration. We live in a forest, so, you know, there's no floor. The ground just kind of grows where it wants to grow. Oh, but the upstairs, if I remember right, should be one of my favorites. It's like a slightly based on the layout of my room, but my room is definitely not this cute, even though it's pink. So that's the right placement for the bed, the bookcase next to it, the computer. This is literally just my desk chair. The mirror's the wrong way. The mirror in my room's like right by the bed, but, and I don't have a couch. I have a window seat. That would be, wait, wait, wait. It would be here, but I didn't do that. I love all the little Sanrio posters. I just wanted somewhere for all the Sanrio rooms and stuff. Like this little moon rug and gotta have a place for that computer. And the computer does have YouTube pulled up because I don't really do anything else. And tried to make it just cozy. I would kill for a bed in real life that looked like this Kiki and Lala bed with a cloud that looks so poofy. As like the mattress and the blanket oh my gosh that would be adorable and the little detail of the little slippers and just the fact that it's like a carpet and then with all of these little rugs my room is carpet but it's like a 30 year old carpet so it's not really cozy or something I lay on but I always see on pictures like Pinterest of like carpet and then like cutesy little rugs just around for fun. I feel like it kind of separates the areas in this room. And I pick some of my favorites of the Sanrio furniture, like the bookcase. Not really sure in this Hello Kitty um, dresser, but I do like the detail of- oh, no, 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 we don't need that. No. Wait, this isn't what I wanted. I want the camera. Where's the camera? The cam- nope. Not you, Nick Miles. I zoom in this. Come on, come on. Let me give my cute little room tour. Excuse me. I love this detail of the, um, the wood. Even, like, it looks white from far away, but, like, the bow is shiny, and then that, like, wooden grain texture on the, the thing, the, on the, like, cat ears and stuff, and then the mirror sort of looks shiny. I love the My Melody set, too. It reminds me of the Lovely set from the older games. Kind of sad that's not a thing anymore, but my original GameCube town always had that. I don't really remember it though. And then this couch, it doesn't look that um, comfortable to me. It looks like it's made out of like, not plastic, what's, what's the word? It looks like something like a bean bag, like I would sit on it and it would squish, which would probably make it very comfortable, but I prefer like more solid-ish couches. I feel like one that has the texture of like a bean bag would be like, eh. It looks like inflatable, but those cushions of the cinnamon rolls do look really nice. Oh, that's where my shell radio was. And then Shep, I miss Shep. I'm gonna be honest, I should not let him go. I really should not have done that, he's adorable. Lucky I already have one of those villagers as I do. Wait, no. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, where's my map? Yeah. So I kept Megan. I mean, I had Stitches and I had Marty, so I thought at the time it's fine. And I can get Stitches and Marty whenever. Yeah, I should have kept Shep. I don't need a villager of every type, but it keeps things like... Give some variety, because having too many of one type in one town gets really boring because there's no, like dialogue variants in this game anymore. Or not anymore, but at all. With the other games, I actually like talking to villagers, but in this one it's like, 
they're kind of just like props i just pick the ones that are cute that i like oh yeah tardis basement i guess except that wallpaper that wallpaper would not be like a tardis thing but i don't know i added some like spookier elements in here too many things though i don't know i got like really really into like making this room and all the little references and things at the time i mean not everyone's there but you know i tried to put each one with like a character item that fit like the butterflies or the chalkboard or the science equipment the mona lisa i mean there's other things i put the phone box up here somewhere there's a wasp in the library section it just kind of goes on and on wait i don't want to be standing here i want to go to there's a cicada somewhere <gasps> stitches stitches i gotta say hi i want to say hi why is he not wearing anything baby boy yeah oh i'm sorry oh no <laughs> I left for five months. <laughs> yeah, I should clean too. Oh. Aw. Can I give him a little prize for being away for so long? I feel kind of bad. Can I give him like clothes or something? I'm not gonna give him that. Um, I'm gonna give him a pumpkin as a snack. He deserves just the whole pumpkin. I'm probably at max friendship, but... Oh, Leah's the name of my second, um... My second villager, which is basically just so I could build a mermaid-themed house and not have to sacrifice the cottage aesthetic. And Leah was just like, I wanted to try, because my name's Julia, I wanted to try Leah as a nickname for a while, and then I literally never did, so... I don't know. I think we'll give him a peach. He's such a peach. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know they do that. Wait. If I just give him a peach- Oh, okay. So he'll probably mail me something. That's nice, though. It's like, what is he gonna give me? He's gonna give me nothing, apparently. Not really. He's gonna mail it to my house. Yeah, Stitches is my favorite. I don't know why Stitches is my favorite, actually. Because it used to be Rosie. Rosie I had in my city folk house. She's the one villager that hopefully has never left my town somehow. I don't even know if I'm at max friendship with her because I don't think photos are a thing in that game. Or I definitely would have gotten one from playing for like 12 years straight. Um, city folk. I've never had Stitches in a town until New Leaf. And he's a Wild World villager, so I wouldn't have had him in my GameCube town. Wild World is the one game I've never played. I've had all the other ones and played them for years, but not. I've never had Wild World. So I don't know how I found out about Stitches and was just suddenly obsessed with him. Because it was before New Leaf, I know that. Because I was so excited when I got him in my village in that one, so. I don't know. But my friend gave me a plushie of him, and it's very cute. And that's all that matters. Though it's still funny to think about because she got it for me as a surprise. But the box had like Chinese writing on it or something. And my parents flipped out. Well, specifically my dad and my brother. They're like, what the hell is this? Did you order this? And I'm like, I have no idea where it came from. But because it was stitches, I had a feeling it was from a friend. And they were gonna throw it away and i feel so bad i had to check in with my friend and say hey did you get me this my parents are freaking out over this box and i didn't want her to feel bad but i love the stitches plush i still have it and that's what matters it's like kind of a funny story now that i think about it but at the time it was like stressful because like they were freaking out and making me feel bad about it even though it was just supposed to be like a nice little surprise birthday gift but that's the hard part it's like i'll order stuff i get it like i'll order stuff online like my kirby 30th anniversary plush and stuff or things that come from like china or japan but you know i don't tell everyone everything i order so then it gets here and they're like what the heck is this and i'm like it's a plushie probably <laughs> 
Alrighty, well that's that's that. I mean, we didn't really accomplish much, but I just kind of felt like playing something cozy for now. And just checking up on the village. I haven't played in like five months, so I kind of forgot what my house looked like. Alrighty, bye bye.